good morning. Um, a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this. And I'm gonna tell you this for real. We have come, the Israelites, to a point where we love who being Israelites more than we do God. We talk about being an Israelite, and I do it all the time. And I'm beauty of it. I, I was standing in, around the kitchen area between the kitchen and the bathroom area yesterday. God said so many people die and don't even know him. So what do you think happened to those folks? So this ain't going to be an easy video to swallow. So if you sensitive and all in your feelings and feeling soft, you shouldn't even watch this. You shouldn't. So I'm going to say this as well. Okay, we the Israelites. So what? You better have your soul. You better have your um, mind together and your, and your spirit and stuff together. I'm going to put it to you that way. Your first commandment is this. You better love God with all your heart and soul. So we so much love ourselves now since we found out. We are becoming lovers of ourselves. No, sir. No. This the one y'all going to really cram and really think you're sick to the stomach when you say you need to love everybody, your neighbor, like you love yourself. It doesn't matter if your neighbor is racist. It don't matter none of that stuff. Because God used his love to help the world, period. You understand? And if they don't accept that, that's fine. But you better do what you got to do because it's important that you get yourself and your family in. Heaven. You understand? Or get you and your family in. And a lot of your family not even going to listen either. Your kids or whatever. Honey, when that stuff comes, or whatever comes, I'm going to just say this. You better be ready for it. You better be. We better be teaching our kids to love and, and, and just protect our, protect themselves and love and let God know that we love him and leave everything up to him. That's what we need to be doing. We doing the most right now. He said very few shall make it. Don't think because you are Israelite that you are automatically put in because you're not. We sin in everything. I find myself the most sin I do is covet. I got older and I, and I, let me tell you, so this page is about me, so let me explain something to you. I got two sisters. Um, one is light with gray eyes and one was brown and she's like real, like a chestnut brown, beautiful. I used to ask her all the time, why didn't I look like them? Their life was so much easier. It was so much easier for them to find a mate because of how they look. I never got married. Both of them have been married. One is married and one is um, divorced. But it's not hard for her to get a boyfriend. Or, and it really wasn't hard for me to get one. But the thing is, people, Israelite men, have learned to love because of skin color. So this ain't going to be, I know I'm going to lose followers on this one, but it is what it is. I'm going to just say it like it is. I'm going to say it like it is. Over skin color. People. Let me explain something to you. I also asked God, why were not smart like them? They got doctorates. And one is my baby sister, actually, a doctor. Say, God, I, why was I struggling to get through school? Why can I be like them? Why didn't you just make it so I had a chance? And you know what he said to me? If I would have made you like them, you wouldn't have never listened. Because they don't listen. Well, that's what, mm -hmm. so we can, and I find myself always covenant and saying, God, I really don't want to bother why this person got this. Why is their life so much easier than mine? Let me tell you something. If you roll with God, your life ain't going to be easy. No, sir. No, sir. Because the devil going to fight you, man, and put for everything you 
thinking if you think that you gonna step into the spirit of God and your life just gonna be it's time. The devil gonna remind you of every horrible, miserable moment of your life every day till you pass. He gonna keep his hand and his, his hand and his goons on you at constant. So I'm gonna tell you this, don't tell it. Cause I find myself doing that a lot. And I gotta pray for forgiveness. You're not even supposed to ask God or wanna be somebody else. He gave you your looks, your everything. He gave you all that. That is you. It don't matter how you feel about it. He gave your skin tone and everything. It, it was for you and it was for a reason. And I ask God, I can never find nobody to just love and to trust. I can never find nobody. And I'm old now. And sometimes the place that I live at, you know, it's married couple. And um, um and I see him and I'd be like, wow, well, I never got married, but I did. I, I got scared later in my life and I had a child. And me and that child, because I tried to raise her to be so different from who I was until our relationship ain't right. It's not. And our relationship is not right because I tried to make her everything that I wanted to be. And that was not in her DNA, honey. It wasn't. Um, and when I say this, I mean this. She is a very intelligent my daughter is fluent in Spanish. She speaks Mandarin, Chinese, and English. She's mathematically very smart. She was so smart that they literally let me call me to the office and said that black people, black children don't score high on math. I don't know where they got that from. I'm not smart. I don't even know where she got that from. She must have got that from my family. But I'm going to tell you something. We overlook the things that we already have. We do. We already got God. So we might not have did or traveled or had the money to do the stuff that we wanted to do. We never made not I never just figured out life. I didn't. But the thing that I could figure out is God. So I figured out that if I loved him with all my heart, that he would take all the pain away. If I didn't, and I found out if I loved my neighbor and love, he would look out for me because I was following the rules. I learned that if I stay away from sin, that he would always make sure that I had the things that I need. I might not have had everything that I wanted, you understand? I never have not nothing that I, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, not one thing I asked for, I got it the way I wanted it. So I really never got nothing from God that was a physical thing that I asked for. I asked for a place to live that I could walk around. I did get that, but it wasn't even in a neighborhood I asked for. So I never get nothing like that. Ever. But I do know that. Um, I, I love them. And sometimes I just want to ignore them. And sometimes he wants you. You got emotions, honey. He knows that. He'd rather for you to talk to him than not. Even if you mad. Even and even if you fall away for just a while, he know you gonna come back because he know he built you to come back. You know we gotta stay away from sin because sin is deadly. It is. It's very deadly. I don't even know why I'm crying. I didn't. I don't understand this page. What he want me? To. I really don't. I really don't, but I will say this. This morning I came in here to just tell you 
make sure that you make him the number one thing in your life. Not that we Israelites. Not. Not that we, you got money or whatever. You understand? Because our situations, and maybe this went in a different way because it's somebody you want to hear that needed to hear this. I was never happy in my life because I was never smart. I was never like just a beautiful girl like my sisters and them. Just I was never any of that. And I would constantly ask God why. Why? You know, I could have helped myself more if I would have been um, cuter or smarter. You understand that? You know what, y'all? I just... I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm just dumb, but thanks for coming. But don't ever forget to put him first. His first two commandments, if you follow them. And not just love him with your love and your soul and your heart, all that. And the second one is love thy neighbor. If you can follow them two commandments, the other ones, you'll be, you'll get it. You'll get it. Um, so, I'll, I'll see y'all later.